Hey, how's it going? So it's currently Thursday morning. We're back in Clamel. We we're away last weekend in Madrid visiting family and cheering around so we didn't get to play the game an awful lot. Uh, but we did manage to sneak in three Lugia raids. Unfortunately, none of them shiny. And we did the new level two raid boss, Manetric, as well. We're still actually waiting for a chance to do a Jolteon since it has returned. Um, and there's a level three hatching in about six minutes time at the Bank of Ireland. So we're gonna wait and see what that is. It's currently windy outside, very windy. And windy in the game as well. So might have a bit of a advantage there. It might be possible to do it with a dragon type boost. So we should wait and see on that. It'd be two Dragonites and our two Rayquazas, so. Um, fingers crossed we do actually get to try, try it before it disappears. I presume it will disappear when Lugia heads away. Um, so yesterday we finally had to do a Lugia raid with the Clamel raid group. Um, so we did that at St. Luke's. Uh, eight of us there and four shinies. And thankfully enough one of them was ours. We did manage to catch it of course. I think we used the pin up berry so you're going to see that later in the video. Uh, but first you're going to see some raids. Uh, also Niantic announced a new um, special event for Easter, so that's the Pokemon Extravaganza, which I'm going to talk about later in the video. Uh, we also got the um, Community Day on Sunday, so this time around this Bobzar, so we did purchase this uh, nice Bobzar in your pocket uh, t-shirt. That's going to be wearing that Sunday, um, probably depending on the weather, we're probably going to have it covered with a jumper and uh, a jacket, um, so no people see it, only myself, and maybe it'll be in the video. Um, so hopefully Sunday we can manage to catch some shiny Bubzars. Uh, for the very first event we did manage to catch five Pikachu and for the Dratini event we did manage to catch five shiny Dratinis. Uh, so we have a Dratini Dragonair and shiny Dragonite and we have two more uh, to hopefully give away to my nephew uh, when trading comes in. Uh, so hopefully with Bubzar we can do the same. Uh, we're going to aim for five Maybe six, I think we can maybe get seven if we're playing for the full three hours around the town centre. I know the last time I probably made a mistake of walking to the park and there wasn't an awful lot of spawns there and especially on the way as well. I, I presume there would be because it was by the river side. Um, so unfortunately not. So hopefully with Bob's art, we can catch many of them. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have a video. Um, so right now we're going to get back to the raids and then you're going to see a shiny Lugia and uh, if this level trees jolt on, I'll probably add it to the end of the video. So, thanks a for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of it. I'll talk to you all soon.
Also yesterday Niantic announced their extravaganza event which begins this evening at 9 p.m. GMT. Um, so that's fantastic news. It will mean that Pokemon that usually hatch from five and ten kilometer eggs will hatch from two kilometer eggs and only two kilometer eggs will be obtainable from Pokestops. So that's fantastic news. Um, usually Niantic would uh, allow for five and tens to still appear and you'd have to buy super incubators to get rid of those eggs. So that's just pretty good news. They also have special boxes in the shop, which will of course have super incubators and star pieces because we'll have double stardust uh, for this event also. And when Pokemon hatch from eggs, we'll have double candy. Uh, this event will last until the 2nd of April. Um, so it's pretty good news. So we've got a fantastic chance of hopefully catching a why not. Beldum, Bagon, Dratini, or Ralts uh, from two kilometer eggs. Um, so we're definitely gonna be hatching many of those and we're gonna hopefully line up nine at a time uh, stick on our star piece and get some extra stardust and uh, ca some candy as well to be able to power up those Pokemons. Also uh, in the game's code, uh, it was found that some new shiny variants have been added. So Togepi, Togetic, Magby, Magmar, and Wobbuffet, male and female have been added. Um, so there's a high possibility that they will hatch uh, from two kilometer eggs or maybe might be seen in the wild and uh, not Togepi or the, the, the other babies of course and also the other babies um, should already be in the game code um, so we've got a fantastic chance of hopefully catching some more shinies to add to our list uh, I'm not sure how many shinies we have at the moment I think it's about 14 so that's quite a a large number and also uh, this Sunday from uh, I think it's 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. we're gonna have the community day uh, this month of course being Bubsar and it will have a special move frenzy plant uh, when it evolves into Venusaur so hopefully we've uh, been five um, sorry we've had five uh, shiny Pikachu's and we've had five shiny Dratini's uh, so hopefully we can keep up that number it's a pretty high number, but I think if you do play for the full three hours, you do have a fairly good chance of uh, catching at least three um, to six, maybe ten maximum shinies within the three hour period. So we'll see how we get on Sunday. We'll definitely have a video up Sunday evening. Uh, 